Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. So today I decided I'm going to put out one of the best Eidolon boss fights that I've had in few weeks. I've been recording a lot of them from time to time, but some of them seem to take a whole lot of time. I actually had one that took about a whole hour. So this is a really good one because it's only for a few minutes and we were able to succeed. Now I was able to gear up and have a conjunction with some of the wonderful people within the community and even some wonderful viewers and subscribers as well. So everyone gave me an amazing permission and I am posting this out there so you guys can see what it is and how it was in the game. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, let's get this started. All right, let's see. Okay, so right now someone are, someone already pointed out where the where the terrorist is standing over there and let's just get those guys uh let's see do we still have any of those drones over there oh yes by the way based on the recent hot fixes there have been some really cool changes to unaru now it affects a lot of those drones however it still doesn't affect a lot of those defense points so just in case you are wondering about the invisibility that actually affects a lot of those drones so you can make them invisible however in this video right here i am using Matarai. and of course when i get into the editing phase i will be listing my modern setup for my chroma and also for my main weapon the pandero that i'm using right now fully modded i think i put five former on it so let's go ahead and come on move on wow everybody is really enjoying the fight right now i need to get in Come on. Come on, Chroma. Pick it up. Pick up the pace. All right. There it is. Right on the hills. Hills of Hydalon. Okay. Let's see. Where are they? Sometimes it makes me wonder, do those things actually track down the Eidolons themselves? Or do they have to always constantly follow you where you have to guide them? Who knows? All right, let's see. Okay, everybody's already dishing some damage. We're trying to drain the shields out. So I'm using Matarai right now. Let's see. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, come on. Get a little bit of it. Now, one of the things that I've also noticed is if you have a group of people who know what they're doing or who have played or fought these bosses before time after time, it becomes a little bit much easier. Alright. Come on. Alright, void mode and dash forward. That's also one of the things that you should be able to do. You know, if you dash forward, it doesn't really push you all the way to the back. And I think we do have a Xenuric on the school right now. And that's a really cool thing because now we can regen some energy back. Alright, get that back. And I think that is a, is that a Madurai? I think that is a no no I think that's a Unaru ability right there. Alright, come on. Right, on side. Hey, I have to be honest, we are really draining the shields down. Like we are really burning it down really really fast. Alright, come on. Chroma. Vex and armor. Alright, we still have to drain it a little bit more. I think he has just like a little tiny portion. Ooh, wow. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Come on, get back in there. Get back in there. Okay. Alright, there we go. It's down. Now, every time when it has that red glow within, it goes down. And this is where the Pandero is really useful. As you guys can see right now. It's incredible. I mean, I have fully loaded crits on this bad boy. And it is working fantastic. Wow, it's incredible. So it's down, or is it going to have that energy spike? Okay, come on, run away. Okay, do we... Do we have a harrow on the team? Oh, yes, we do have a harrow. So this is also one of the really cool things about having a Harrow on the squad. Because whenever you have Harrow on the squad, it basically gives you that. The fourth ability gives you that invulnerability. 
So that's one of the great benefits of this. So that that's a really cool thing right there. However, I still cannot get over the fact that every time it does that, I still have to run far away. I think it, I think it's just one of those things I'm used to. All right, come on. Catch that. Get that guy out. Get out of here. Okay. Avoid dash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Is he going to slam into the ground? Nope. Now, I have to be honest with you guys. I've played with certain individuals and... Dash forward. Nope. I ran out of void. What is going on? Okay. Oh, there we go. I've played with a lot of individuals and not everybody really knows a lot of this phase and we broke that part right there. Come on, let's run away. Come on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Run, 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 run. Oh, oh wow. I really don't even know why I'm running when we already have a hero on the team to use his fourth ability. That's just, that's just ridiculous. But it's okay. We're going to keep it moving. We're almost done with it. And, I, and I'll be honest with you guys. Never did I think we will be able to go after it really quick in this short while wow. in this short amount of time because a lot of the squads that I've played with uh, Most people have to we, we end up doing this for maybe about 30 minutes Maybe the shortest maybe 20 minutes And right now we just have an excellent team of individuals on the squad right now It's incredible the amount of work these guys are doing now, I'm using a, a quite low-powered amp, so my amps are not as powerful as everyone else's. However, the fact that everyone knows what they're doing, we're charging at the same time, and there it goes again. Ooh, let me see if I can dodge this. Uh, come on. Okay, Vex armor. All right, there we go. Arrow was a little bit too late there. There it is. All right, so now the... The Vumbalist will be coming in. Yep, there it there to go. So the Vumbalist will be coming in trying to heal it right now. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's see. Where do I come on? Do we even have any okay, we still have a little bit of some shields on it. Okay, come on. Let's drain them out. So we're we're almost done with it right now. We're almost done with it. Come on, come on. We're almost done with it right now, and it's looking incredible. It's looking amazing. And I I'll be honest with you guys. After the next time it turns red for that spike, I think we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it through after that one round. One that just one more. One more after it turns red and it blinks. That will be it. Okay. Okay, go invisible. Recharge the amp. Oh, there we go. All right, stand on the hill. Okay, that's not weak. Where is the weak point? There we go. And you look look at that Pandero just dealing some intense damage. And there we go. All right, now they're all rushing in trying to rescue it. So this is the portion where a lot of you, if you're watching right now, this is where you have to run after those Vombolus and make sure that you pop them off really quickly. Because, yes, this is the amazing part right here. It's calling out to them. I need help. I need you guys out here. Help me out. So now we're just going to blow them all out. Every single one around the corner. And I can't even find them. Where are they? Is it getting is it getting back up? No, you're not. Are you is it? Oh wow, it's back up. You know what? We're we're gonna do this. We we gotta take it out. Is someone using a lens? That is really incredible. Alright, we're almost done. We're almost there. We're almost there. Look at all those crits. Look at all those yellow and orange numbers right there. That was just incredibly beautiful. Okay, I think this is the next one. Okay, pop everything. So you want to make sure that you go after them because if you do not, which was one of the problems that I had in previous runs, 
then this battle will take a little bit much longer than you expect it to. So, you have to be very, very watchful for that. So right now, we're taking that and see. All right, there it goes, turns red. Now we gotta take it out. Is it, is that it? Is that it? Yep, finally took it out. Took, took, took the terrorist out. So that is not really bad. That is, that is not really bad. And then let's see, I got full contact. Wow, not bad. That's quite a, that's very impressive mod. Okay, let's go ahead and collect some of those. Let's see, what else do I have here? All right, that's uh, Idol on Sentient Core, exceptional one. Oh, and we have the shards right here. And there we go. So that only yielded two shards. Um, so far, I've only been able to collect a maximum of two shards from each one. So I don't know if there is more to be yielded after this, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and... I'm just going to go ahead and survey the land just to make sure that I have everything all covered up and I'm not leaving any stone untouched or unturned. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But that is it for the battle, guys. There you go, there you have it. That's how I defeated an Eidolon with a really quick and an amazing group of individuals right here. And th these guys are really, oh, wow, everybody's all back. These guys are really incredible and they're amazing. And if you guys enjoyed this video, Leave a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. And as always, it is DS signing out. I'll see you all in the next one.